Hi, this is Troy from Discover Battery. In this video, we will show you how to integrate Discover Lithium batteries with Solar Converter chargers using the Link2 communication gateway. So the Link2 gateway enables the internal BMS of a Discover Lithium battery to share important battery information over a network data connection in a closed-up configuration with off-grid inverters. This data helps optimize battery charging and trigger other function controlled by the inverter charger that use battery data such as voltage, temperature, and state of charge. As with any installation job, pay attention to safety before you begin. Please wear proper personal protection equipment when handling the battery's inverter and electrical systems. Don't forget to switch off and depower all devices before installing the link gateway and connecting the Cat5 communication cables. Please also refer to the Link2 Communication Gateway User Manual, available from discoverbattery.com, and review the Discover Lithium battery models and inverters compatibility with the Link2 Gateway. Before starting the installation, ensure you can configure the CAN out pins of the Link2 Gateway to match the CAN low, CAN high, and CAN ground pins for the solar converter charger. So we have already configured the Link Gateway for the solar converter behind me for this video, to learn how to position the internal jumpers that configure the Link2 Gateway CAN out pins, you can download and consult the Link2 Solark user manual from discoverbattery.com. Once the CAN out pins of the Link2 are correctly configured, the Discover Lithium battery can be connected to the Link2 using a Cat5 cable. After connecting the batteries to the Link Gateway, connect it to the Solark inverter using a Cat5 cable inserted into the correct CAN port. Note that the CAN ports are in different locations on the solar converter depending on the model. Now that the hardware is installed, you can enable Link2 to communicate with solar converters. Be aware that if communication between the Link2 and the inverter is lost for more than 10 seconds, the inverter will safely stop operation only if the inverter's BMS lithium bat and BMS error stop parameters are both enabled. If closed loop communication can't be reestablished, the solar converter must be changed to an open loop configuration to resume operation. As a precautionary measure, we actually recommend to first program the solar converter with the correct voltage-based open loop parameters before setting up the system to function in a closed loop configuration. Referring to section 6.1 of the Link2 Solark user manual, you will find the list of Solark open loop settings you can use the touch screen and keypad on the inverter, navigate from the system setup to battery screen setup. On the BAT screen, set up the parameters for battery capacity, max charge amps, and max discharge amps. For the safe and proper operation of the system, we recommend that the use BAT vCharge function is enabled. Also, don't forget to enable the active battery function and save the settings. Next, set the absorption voltage, float voltage, and other voltage-based parameters on the charge screen. On the discharge screen, disable the BMS error stop function and set the other voltage-based triggers. After establishing open loop configuration, we can configure the Link2 gateway to use the Solar Communication Protocol. To begin, download and install the Link Access software to a Windows-based PC from the Discover Battery website. Then, open Link Access, connect your PC to the Link2 gateway using the USB Type-B mini plug cable that comes with the Link gateway. Select the Solar Communication Protocol using the Link Access software and save the setup. Now it's time to set up the closed loop parameters. So you can actually refer to section 6.3 of the Link2 Solar user manual. You'll find the list of the Solar closed loop settings. Using the touchscreen and keypad on the inverter, navigate from the system setup to the battery setup screen. On the BAT screen, set up the parameters for battery capacity, max charge amps, and max discharge amps. For the safe and proper operation of the system, we actually recommend enabling both the BMS lithium BAT and use BAT percentage charger function. Remember to press the OK button to save your changes. Next, on the charge screen, set the start percentage parameter and the amp values, which should be the same as the max charge amp values. On the discharge screen, ensure the BMS error stop function is enabled and set the other percentage-based triggers. 
Now that the Link 2 is appropriately connected, it will transmit real-time values from the Discover Lithium battery, including voltage, current, temperature, state of charge, and even fault conditions to the inverter. For more information and support material, you can actually visit discoverbattery.com.